The results of two massive studies of the ocean were released this week. Would you like the bad news or the bad news first? First, the amount of fish. We thought we had a pretty good idea of how much actual commercial fishing was going on every year and how fast fish stocks were going down. We knew it was bad. It turns out even those bad numbers were total crap. It's actually worse than that. The annual catches between 1950 and 2010 were much bigger than thought, uh, about 30% or higher, uh, but that the decline after the peak year of 1996 was actually much faster than official figures as well. So we were taking in more fish than we thought we were, and the amount of fish uh, that were like dying off as a percentage um, that were available was going down at a faster rate than we thought as well. So in the new information, which is a result of a more than a decade-long investigation, uh, the FAO data indicated a catch of 86 million tons back in 1996 and then a decline of about 0.4 million tons per year. Look, that adds up after a few years. In contrast, the new research estimates the peak catch was 130 million tons using a more robust methodology and that it had started declining at 1.2 million tons per year after that. So why is it that the numbers were so bad for decades? Um, well, there are certain types of fishing that don't need to be reported. Those were thought to be smaller than they actually were. But in addition, there's a lot of illegal fishing. A 2015 study showed that nearly 500 Chinese fishing vessels were operating off West Africa with scores of cases of illegal fishing. They made a pretty long trip to do that illegal fishing. Large European vessels also operate in that same region. In April of last year, the EU threatened Thailand with a trade ban over illegal fishing, while in September, Greenpeace said it had identified significant pirate fishing for tuna in the Pacific. So, look, there are some complications. It's not just the illegal fishing, but that is perhaps the most significant part. The whales share, you might say. So, why does it matter that we've been taking in more fish than we thought and that the ability to take in fish in the future is going to be much lower than we, we thought? Well, seafood is the critical source of protein for just 2.5 billion people. Now, I hear protein is pretty important in an actual diet, not mine, but around the globe, it's important for developing children who want to grow up strong in body and mind. Now, so this is beyond just like limiting your choice of sushi. Like, this is limiting our world's capacity to feed a significant number of people, literally billions of people. Also, the ocean is filling up with plastic. That's the other bad news. Plastic rubbish will outweigh fish in the oceans by 2050 unless the world takes drastic action. They say that right now we're dumping something like a garbage truck of plastic into the ocean every minute. And that is going to go up until at the point of 2050. It's something like four garbage trucks full of plastic being dumped into the ocean every single minute of every single day. In that graphic, they call for drastic action. And that is obviously what is necessary when you combine these two studies. Drastic action to cut down on how much commercial fishing is being done so that fish stocks can start to recover to cut down on the illegal activity that is wrecking our ability to cause that to happen, to place limits on non-essential consumption of fish so that we don't exacerbate the problem, and perhaps to figure out a way to not throw every piece of plastic that we generate directly into the ocean. I don't mean to carp about it, but after all, our bass is on the line. And that's my final judgment. <laughs>